Good morning. We're going to start with something really simple. I'm just going to work on a list of credits of all the different things used. Even though I used a bunch of like the stuff from free sounds and stuff I used is from like it's like CC0. I don't need to give credits. I still want to give credits because it's nice and I think it's good to keep a list of where you got everything. So we're going to go through and do that. I'm starting with I'm starting with the tools that I made. I haven't even I haven't even uploaded this on my website yet. I guess I guess I'll do this one of these next two days. I still need to add um, custom font loading to this to the handwriting generator, but that should be like like just take like an hour, maybe less. Should be should hopefully be less, but like you never know with programming. You gotta like expect the unexpected. All right, are there any other tools used? Thank you. 
ideally I think I should even list the LMMS VS or the VST plugins I use because they're kind of like separate from LMMS. Um, realistic textures from textures.com. Does textures.com actually list the artist? I actually seem to remember somewhere it listed the artist that did these. Oh, so some of the things they actually don't have IP warranties on. Okay, and this is, uh, yeah, they don't. I could have sworn when it was cgtextures.com, they actually had, um, they had credits to the artist. Maybe not. All right, so all I need to do is reference textures.com. New website design, monthly highlights. Monthly highlights might actually be good to look at because it's probably some of like, these actually look really good. Textures.com is so good like actually so good so I think I think I should go through each of these that are used in the game and I should look at what synths are used and write down the VSTs because that's actually like useful to people Hello, KO2 fan. Man, I don't know what would ha was happening, but my mod icons weren't even showing up on Twitch the other day. Today, you can see them right there. I can ban people. Yesterday, I was like clicking this button, and, like it wasn't doing anything. I was like, what the hell? Goddamn Twitch, dude. How's the game coming along? It's just about done, I think. I'm doing polish. You can, like, play through the game start to end now, but it doesn't have a bunch of stuff I want in it. And, uh, yeah, I'm, pu I'm putting together a credits list of all the different things used. <laughs> develop paywall I feel like selling yeah like man paywall the paywall stuff for me is depressing I've talked about microtransactions before but I feel like the game industry is like literally put into a corner with microtransactions because I, everyone knows how easy it is to pirate games like if you sell your game for even like 50 bucks it's not actually tons of people paying you 50 bucks so then you go, okay, well, let's make it an online service. And you buy, like, a hat or something for 20 bucks. And then there's no way they can steal it because it's an online service. It's like... It's like, I, I wish things weren't that way, but it's like... It's fucking dumb, though. Because, like, I don't fucking care about these stupid-ass hats or customizing my characters or... If you're gonna put like a boost in a game, 
like all this stuff of microtransactions sucks because it all just comes from the fact that game devs can't afford to make games even though it's supposedly one of like the largest industry like or like recreational entertainment that games is a part of is literally like a fucking multi-billion dollar industry like bigger than that i think and it's like the actual game devs making games can't afford that shit but then there's giant companies that are doing just fine I can't decide. I, I think I'll just list off the VSTs here. I'm just gonna open LMMS and look at what's used. Okay, so we use the default for this. Oh yeah, I think I made a different menu song. Yeah, I made a different menu song a few days ago. Blizzard makes over eight billion a year. Jesus. So I want to say that I actually have credits for these. I actually want to say that there are. So this is Dead Duck software. Okay, there is a way. There is a way to do look this up Does this Dead Duck software have not have an official site? Homepage Dead Duck software blogspot. The blogspot has been removed. Oh, dude. Blizzard makes over 8 billion a year. Blizzard, wow, my typing is bad today. Blizzard, uh, Blizzard suck. You mean, wait, no, you mean Activision? Blizzard isn't around anymore. Oh yeah, I love this top comment. Bueno plugin. <laughs> wait, 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 Bueno's... Okay, Bueno is good, okay. This guy said it was a Bueno plugin and then gave it one star. Is he dumb? They named the company Activision Blizzard. So now it's AB. Arathi Basin. <laughs> Alright, VSCO. I think this one has credits. Community Edition. Alright, guys, how does this sound? a little bit of clicking. Yeah, I think it's I think it's peaking a little bit. 
I still gotta fix it up a bit. Versilian Chamber Orchestra 2 Community Edition. Okay. Here we go. Look at this shit. Community Edition requires three gigabytes of hard drive space. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think I have this one. Holy shit. I only got one of these, I think. Wait a fucking minute. Dude, I only got the violin. Oh my god, I only got the violin section. Topic original dot wav format. Vanilla. Virtual playing orchestra. EA revenue is 5.72 billion. Figured they were bigger, I am surprised. Yeah, that. I guess that isn't too big. I'm actually confused. How are these all any different? How do I download all these? What version should I download? If you're just getting started and don't know what VST plugins are, we recommend one of the vanilla versions. Do I have Big Cat's version? How do I tell? I think I think I have a completely different one. It's kind of freeware community. I'm like I actually don't know where I downloaded Like I think I downloaded one of the vanilla vanilla versions. Hi there, this is Sam Gosner with Brazilian Studio. A freaks and in, in order to use, I recommend uh, to some extent on Mac, and I recommend using Twitter. Now this is. Oh so my God! So this isn't even. Digital. Uh, here's the new. Um, and make oh my God! So this isn't even what I used. Which version do I have? So I have VSCO2. I'm I am legit confused. I I do not know where I downloaded this. Let's, uh, let's look. just a DLL file. No readme or anything. God damn it. Hmm. So 
CO2 violence section. Like, I, I, now I'm now I'm wondering, like, oh my god, I did download the Big Cat Instruments one. Oh my god. So... Does this guy have other VSCO ones? Oh my god, I'm downloading these, dude. I was like, I was like, there are more? So this is the OG one. Orchestral and Wind Ensemble. Concert clarinet solo violin. Holy shit. Each instrument is automatically mapped to a MIDI channel. Half of the file size is the percussion patch in case you wanted some percussion mapped. Close to MIDI standards to ease compatibility. What is the licensing? They normally... They normally put some sort of license in here. I'm assuming it's just like completely commercial. Oh my god, dude. I Okay, I wasn't planning to download a bunch of VST plugins, but we're downloading a bunch of VST plugins because these are fucking sick, dude. <laughs> like I'm just okay, I'm just I'm downloading all of them. Oh, does this one not have a out of a demo. There's so many of them. I feel like I don't need double bass. There's a lot of things that sound like bass. Glockenspiel, oh my god. This is probably like all the instruments you could ever need. Why does this French horn have a bad review? Don't need bass, definitely need glockenspiel. Uh, you can switch between five groups. Sounds like beginner. Timber changes dramatically after first octave. Um, this is so funny to me. People are complaining about the low range every single one of these VSTs has a low range because of the way they work. Like, these people literally don't understand how the VSTs work. Every single one of them covers a small range because the instruments themselves are only used to play a small range of specific notes. And then it's expected that if you're doing this shit with, like, synthesizers, you know how to change pitch using, using filters. So it's like... God damn it, dude. People complaining about their own lack of knowledge. Wait, what's the last one I just downloaded? This is, this is actually a lot of files.
Okay, I think I think that's enough. Okay, maybe Timpenny and Trombone. Downloading like three gigs of synths. How many of these are there? Oh, so I have the violin section and violin itself is different. Interesting. I guess I'll install those in a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna write write down this these credits. Um I'm gonna link to the actual website because I think that's much better practice. Should I give credit to Big Cat? I feel like I should give credit to Big Cat Instruments here because he is the one that has actually ported these into VSTs from the samples. So, hmm. All right, I'll be right back. Then I'm going to uh, get some water, food, and then I think I'm gonna install those VSTs.
All right, changed my mind a little bit. I'm not gonna install the VSTs quite yet because you sometimes we run into some issues installing them. I'm gonna finish doing these credits. What do I, I feel like it's like cutting it low saying just textures because it's like full on textures. Like it's literally got normal maps, ambient occlusion maps, like it's full on PBR textures. I feel like I'm cutting textures.com short by saying just textures. Whatever. by synth edit. Where do I find this to download it? Hmm, I don't know if this is the official, see this is the issue, I'm a, uh, the official link seems to be from VST Planet, but VST Planet is gone, <laughs> so, yeah, I guess the official, this is, see, I think this is a great example of why having your own website or blog is insanely useful. Like, just looking through all these websites that, like, ten years down the line, they don't exist anymore. I mean, I guess you, you can definitely say the same thing about hosting your own website, but it's like... The, pe the, the links that have worked for these VSTs have all been people who have had their own website. Dude, this is... I got like I got like a piece of hair just like sticking out sideways. All right, I guess I guess I'm just gonna link. I'm just gonna link the uh, the plugins for free.
I always host my own content. It seems so like insignificant these days when the majority of stuff you do find is like not self-hosted. It's on shit like YouTube and stuff. But it's like these like yeah, I don't know. Nothing cements it more than clicking a bunch of links for these things and they're non-existent anymore. Shit, this one uses labs. Okay, Spitfire Audio Labs. Free virtual instruments. Okay, actually, so it's not just labs. Which one do I use? The Amplified Cello Quartet Evil. I might see I wasn't using sad piano, but I think I actually might if I add in Tom. Okay, so this uses D piano again. I think I think we've actually covered all the synths we use. Yeah, I use D piano. Sad piano too. Okay. So there was there was a 3D model that I grabbed off open game art. Uh, it was a fireplace right here fireplace I'm gonna see if I can find that download I probably can find that download fireplace dot blend wait furniture pack holy shit dude I downloaded a furniture pack and completely forgot about it <laughs> god damn it well, we'll use it for something else. Does this have a readme actually? It doesn't, man, what is up with people and not putting a readmes? Like, the one thing I appreciate about Linux users is they know how to put readmes in their shit. Maybe if I open the .blend file, Sometimes people put notes in their dot blend file. Uh, fucking hate this guy's layout. Holy shit. I, I hate these customized layouts in Blender. Uh, text editor. No, he didn't do. No, they didn't do any credits. Okay. Sometimes people put their credits in the text editor in Blender. Is this the one? I think this is the one. I hope I didn't use this one. I don't think I used this one. Yeah, this isn't the one I used. And it has CC3, so I know I didn't use it. Here we go. Public domain by weapon guy.
I guess I'll just give credits as a weapon guy. I'm just thinking, is this everything? Is this everything? Ah, we used, we used footsteps off free sound, yes. We got audio off free sound. Um, so I got smashing glass I never used. Footsteps by Monty32. Here we go. I made the bug taps. The outside wind actually uses the audio weather SFX. Hmm. So I guess maybe. Maybe I should do the credit for audio weather. I should do the credits for audio weather. Space motors, sci-fi vehicle sounds. All right, I think that is all. I'm gonna get some rumbling rocks. Actually, I mean, while I'm in LMS, I wonder if I can make a rumbling sound here. I feel like rumbling is actually kind of hard to synthesize. But at the same time, it should be able, like you should be able to do some sort of like reverb and then a bunch of repeating banging like percussion am i missing anything let me just make sure maybe there were some 3d models i took i think i did basically everything in blender oh yeah i used make human
just makehuman.com or makehumancommunity. Makehumancommunity.org, okay. All right, nice. We've got our credits. That's that is nice to have done. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. See, everything sounds like a synth. Nothing sounds like realistic, like rocks or anything. So I actually think that might it might be like impossible. But at the same time, like noise and stuff should be very like rock smashing against stuff and then reverberating is very similar to noise to me seems like always good to give credit it also means like like people can like like other game devs can be like oh yeah i do my modeling in blender too and vsts are sick so I think audio people will always like to see VSTs. See, the thing is, everything is designed to sound good, but like with falling rocks, you don't really want it to sound good. You want it to sound like a bunch of like rocks falling and Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, making sounds is probably one of the hardest things. Like, how do you even make sounds? I can use this wave draw. better off using something like this and then figuring out how to like hit shift this I don't even think hit shift is applied hit shift doesn't even apply to this shit somehow making it go like faster see that doesn't change the frequency at all
That sounds creepy. Actually, that does sound kind of like rocks falling. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm looking for like a rumbling noise. Something faster than this. Hmm. That still sounds like rain. And it's not fast enough, and I can't make this synth speed up at all. actually sounds like a very big rock slide. That actually sounds like a very big rock slide. I think it worked. See, it still doesn't have this like rumbling noise that I'm going for. Like I'm almost thinking I'm gonna like put my fucking phone or mic or some shit in a bag of rocks and just shake that around. Or put it in a box or something. Okay, I think fading... There we go, there's our rumbling noise. <laughs> it's like so loud and clippy sounding but that is exactly what like insanely loud rumbling seems like okay we're gonna save that just as like uh synthesized rumbling and then i guess we'll export a little clip of that
I'm just wondering how loud do I make it? I think that's good. This synth is kind of annoying. In the fuck, I just pressed new. It keeps playing even when it's disabled. Okay. I think we'll install those synths now. And then I'll program it in to use this uh, rumbling effect. I wonder if I could turn it up. It actually doesn't look that loud. That's so funny. It, it does not look loud, but it is definitely loud. Does Unity automatically have something for fading out audio sources, or do I need to fade down the volume? I'm guessing I need to fade it down manually. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Let's install these synths, because like I showed with the 3D model pack I downloaded of furniture, I will literally just forget about stuff. Uh... So, let's install it. Uh, we're literally just gonna do this on mass. Is this going to work for all the selected files? No, it literally only did it. Hmm. I wonder if extract file. Oh, yeah, dude. I love 7-zip. 7-zip is awesome. That's what I needed. Okay. So I think we might be able to delete these now. Uh, which one did I... Was it the flute that I exported first? So does this have the flute twice? It does have the flute twice. I'm actually confused. Is this flute 64 the same as flute? Oh, okay. So we can delete that. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna uninstall the... Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's delete these. There's no reason why I think I'll have to... I'm just thinking, like, I guess if... I don't think there's any reason I would need to re-export these again unless something fucked up. So what we have to do for LMMS to make, to make, to put, to have these show up here under vestige, vestige or whatever, we need to actually go to the file and save the plugin uh, as like a template so that we can easily drag in the, pl the plugin. Otherwise, every single time we have to go to this little file dialog. 
find our way to the plugins folder. Hopefully we don't have to do this every single time and I can copy and paste. God damn it. LMMS, man. There has to be a way to copy and paste. LMMS paste in file directory. If they force you to select file directory, Oh my god, that's so annoying. There is no way to paste, it looks like. God damn it. Yeah, so there's no way to copy and paste the paths here. That is that is fairly annoying. Actually, I guess not just fairly annoying. That is pretty goddamn annoying. Wait, did I? Did I download the violin section again? Viola section, viola section. Yes, violin section. Oh no, okay. All right. There is there is so many files here now. I think we're going to go top down. This is Percussion and piano. Does not sound like it has percussion anywhere. And that is not a piano either, that is a flute. Uh, I probably am misunderstanding how this works. Strings and woodwinds, harp, brass, channel one. Velocity curve normal. I think I need to like change the MIDI channel. Oh yeah, the channel definitely changes it. Alright, so horn is four, trumpet should be five. That is not a trumpet. So I am I am misunderstanding something. There we go. I see it just it doesn't work under here it only plays it through here
Wait, I'm I'm actually confused. What is it doing? this I think it's the output oh yeah definitely so that's flute that's clarinet that's bassoon Hold on, I just realized we could put an arpeggio on here and I don't need to play this. Alright, six should be tenor bone. Wait, did I read that right? Tenor. I I I think I don't know what that means. Bass bone. Eight is xylo slash t-i-m-p i wonder what ti time i don't know what that is the, dude these are actually so many different instruments all in one it's kind of crazy wait how big is this file because this one is actually not that big which is kind of interesting 64 bit um, yeah 188 megabytes actually isn't that big uh the like i have i have one of my one of the vsts i had was 300 megabytes just for a piano so this is actually so good so nine is glockenspiel and chimes So many different sounds, so good. This is percussion. I like, I like the sparkle, which is, what are these called? I guess they're chimes. It's like, oh, what is this? harp that has a really big bass dude the harp that bass all right we're almost done in this one uh violin okay so this violin actually doesn't sound that good compared to the other one oh so this is this is violin section. This is actually a bad violin. I'm not really upset because there's so many other things in this. It's not... It's not a huge deal. That does not sound much like a violin to me. So the last one, concert piano. Alright, that's that's a good piano. Or 
or it's decent. I it's not per. So the inter here's the really interesting thing that I I I've heard and I've bro like. I believe this shit now. So if you actually have a perfect, so like with synthesizers, you can create like the idea of like a perfect instrument, like it, like the whole idea of like the instruments is normally like you have some container that bounces around. You have some source of the audio, like a string is, it's basically always a string except for a few cases for like drums. You have like a string that creates the vibrations and then you normally have some wooden container or something that bounces them around. We literally have like code to simulate the audio waves bouncing around. But what's interesting is like the sounds of the real instruments of like real humans, the like good part about them isn't that they're perfect, it's that they're imperfect. Like you almost want to catch the imperfections of people playing things a little bit wrong and like because our if things are too perfect, our brains literally like call that out. Our brains are like, wait, shit is never that perfect. So hold on, let me disable these. Reset it back to default. And then we will save. Okay, and now we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this for all the new ones. If we refresh, this should show up here. Yeah, we have v VSCO now. Very nice. Now we're just going to do this like 10 times over. Oh, thank God it isn't going to reset the directory each time. We can just go to plugins here. So let's see how much better this bassoon is than, um, that is so much better. I just realized why why is this so much louder? Hold on, is it the bass velocity? That is still louder. What the hell? It's still louder inside the thing. I actually, is this an LMMS bug? The synth, it never plays as loud as the synth. What if we max out velocity? It still plays louder inside the synth. What? LMMS VST not as loud. Velocity wrong. VSTs sound different in piano roll. If to okay, well I already adjusted the bass velocity, so So it goes up to that notch right there. And that one goes past it to that notch right there. It's actually playing like way less quiet. What the hell is it? Hmm. 
What could this be? Hmm. Why would this play not as loud? aren't sounding the same in piano roll. Um, I wonder if this, does this apply to other plugins? Hold on, hold on. I want to test this with. Okay, so this one doesn't have a piano roll. Um, which one has a piano roll in it? Does this show wh where it's playing? Yeah, I think it does play a little bit quieter. Huh. I guess it's just like the way, yeah, I guess this is just like the way LMMS, LMMS works. It's not perfect. So, yeah, I'm just going to load these and save them all over and over again. Some of these are very loud. Like, they're very loud in the thing, and then they're quiet in here. It, it doesn't make sense. How is that so loud? How is that so loud in there and then so quiet here? What the hell? Yeah, maybe it's just an issue with the VST or whatever. It's so much more quiet though, oh my god.
Oh yeah, the Glockenspiel. That could be like a battle horn even. Yeah, some of these stuff are even like, like this could be useful even for like game sound effects. Dude, that's a really good organ. I actually wasn't expecting that. Holy shit. That is a really good organ. See, this is the really nice thing about some of these VSTs is like, you go like, oh, this one's kind of not that great, and then you're like not expecting one of them to be super good. All these drums are just really high quality too. That's like the opening drum roll for like... Yeah, these are just like... These are so good. I was very... I'm very happy I found these VSTs this morning. I am, I am so surprised that I found that violin section VST before and didn't find all these others. Oh, so it's a timpani that is this repeated drumming. What is a timpani? A set of tunable kettle drums. Oh, it's these guys. Oh, okay. Hold on, did I remember to save percussion there? Yes, okay, good. All right, we're almost done. How's this trumpet? I actually haven't, I haven't found a really decent trumpet yet, so. So it kind of repeats, which... Oh, it's vibrato. Dude, that's actually... Oh my god, they have... They have a lot of different options for how it's played here. Why is this called mute? 
What does mute mean in that sense? Either way, that's very nice. I actually didn't have a good uh, trumpet synth before. I'm really happy to have that. Trumpet's like so crucial, but it actually was like, I couldn't find a synth when I looked before. Finally, viola section. I don't know how the viola viola is gonna sound different than the violin. It almost sounds a bit deeper, sadder. some awesome new synths. Oh. All right. We are going to add a rumbling noise now. Um, so, yeah, I kind of want to add like a rumbling effect when you go through these areas. But I think I think logically I should I should do it on the fall. I have falling rocks here. I should add the noise to the falling rocks here. So... So this, I think... Hmm... Hmm... The question is, how do I play this? Because that isn't looping. So I almost should like fade it in and out. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just add it to the Falling Rock script here. Close the credits. It's going to stretch too. Like, ideally, I should actually give this a position in space and make it spatial. I don't, I don't think so, though. Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe every time it spawns... Oh, 
I play the noise? Hmm. So then I would also probably want to change. Yeah, you know what? I should I should do spatial blending because I actually want the volume to only be heard within a specific area. That looks all right. Is there, instead of time, is there a length of the clip? has to be like a length there we go length length of the clip in seconds all right we'll do random dot range between that random value times that let's see how that sounds Are the falling let's let's debug this is the falling rock area enabled yet okay I spawned myself inside the volume and it didn't keep track of the state I don't think because it spawned inside so default called as false Okay, so yeah, I need to have it start enabled for it to detect this properly. Okay, yeah, there's a clicking noise from changing the time so much. So what I actually should be doing is I think fading in and out the volume of the sine wave. Oh, I, I want to see how this works. It should be somewhat fading in and out because of the rocks hitting. Kind of close. Do time dot time instead, and then I think I'll do multiple sine waves. both have the same frequency don't they yeah so I guess make one slower 
So this should make the volume sort of wave back and forth. I think I need to make it slower but faster. Make this one faster but have less of an effect. So the volume does not seem to help. Let's just try it with no volume changing. I think there's an option I can use to have it skip the beginning. I could like try to cut out that beginning part. Having it loop. Hmm. Yeah, I think the answer is literally just to open this up in Audacity and make it loop. There's a trick for this. Let me look this up. Audacity. I think it would be called seamless looping. That's what it's like. Seamless tiling is what it's called for texturing. Make a seamless loop in Audacity. From outside selection, cut tool to detach the section. Crossfade the end of the second track using crossfade tracks. Okay, so I need to take the end of this. Hold on. Take the end of this and crossfade it. I don't I don't know where that where that is. Is it under Hmm. 
okay, no, I need to select a very specific portion. How do I select? How do I select both tracks? Maybe just going one by one. What settings did this guy use for cross fade? Cross cross fading.
Oh my god, how long have I been muted? How loud is this when I put it full volume on here? It's pretty loud. It's kind of supposed to be. Okay, it's not, it's not like peaking or anything. So let's see if doing a pitch shift have any effect. Okay, there actually is a little bit of an effect. I almost want to do like a little rumbling on the player's stream. See, this does, it still does not sound like rocks rumbling. I'm just wondering, like, I guess I could do a little shaking on the player's screen. I guess I could, like, jitter the main camera. I'm just thinking, I guess I would do it here and then on disable, I can reset the player's transform to the base. 
I have a main camera position here. What is it? Um, camera base position. I guess I could make it public. And then here, you get transform local position equals camera base position plus whatever sort of jittering we want to do. I guess we could do sine and cosine like this. That might even be too much, we'll see. Too fast, I think. Oh, what is this? Object reference not set to instance of object. Okay, so we need to check if player does not equal null. And we're going to make the camera shake faster. Audio shake slower. Bit too uh. much shaking, I think. Bit less shaking. I think that's good for shaking. I kind of want to put this in a separate script because I kind of want to do like a little, like it, when you walk through one of the, do one of these jumps, I kind of want to have rumbling. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll put this in a separate class where I can just like trigger it when you walk into an area. Hmm.
think that's decent. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the rumbling in another script. Uh, maybe, I feel like that's kind of considered polish. I feel like that's kind of considered polish. Um, I think we're ready to do a playthrough. So the other day I went to go do a playthrough and then I was like, well, there's still a bunch of stuff I actually need to change to consider it to be like balanced. One of the things I'm thinking right now, like I was saying I was gonna do the playthrough, but I'm like, I think I wanna balance the boss a little bit more because it just, it sends those, uh, it lobs those crystals at you insanely fast. And I should actually change it to do like a more realistic throwing. Hmm. I'm also thinking of like polish stuff I can do. I can basically go through and add a whole bunch more of these tiny little rocks and things and it would make it appear way more detailed. Just putting a bunch of like little rocks and stuff throughout these caves would just help a whole bunch. Hmm. But yeah, all of that is polish. All of that is polish. Hmm. That's the question. I think I think I might do the rumbling because I'm talking about it now. Hmm. I'm thinking how I want to implement it. Like I could just do a rumbling class where when you walk in the trigger, it triggers the rumbling. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to do it in this underground cave script. That This is just kind of what I'm using for doing this. So I can check when the player goes past this position. or z coordinates here okay the x coordinate of negative 250 seems good so when it passes 250 it'll trigger the rumbling Animating this. So we'll 
play this, I think, for like a second. sign fades in maybe not I might have to offset this or use cosine or something this might not hold on you know what let's just visualize this before I do something wrong literally have a sine wave right here all right so we're starting out at zero okay actually the sine wave multiply by pi is exactly what we want we don't even need to multiply it by anything very nice did I put it on the water stream I did one without spatial blend no play on awake okay so I actually just figured out an issue um, when it loads in the level it plays the audio before it disables the objects shit so what that means is is that these audio sources are automatically played Okay, well, I guess as long as the player isn't in this area, it doesn't actually matter if this starts out disabled. I believe. Wait, wait, okay, what is that playing initially? Is it this still playing on awake, or... Oh yeah, I guess my X. Oh, okay, I see, I'm checking this the wrong way. This needs to be if bigger than. So it's playing this, okay. I think I am gonna have that play longer than um, a few seconds. Wait, did I put the player on the wrong side of the bridge? Holy shit, I put the player on the wrong side of the bridge. <laughs> huh, no wonder why. Uh... I'm gonna turn the walk speed up so that we can go grab this quickly. Wait, 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 did it still trigger there? Bugs.
It is almost like harder to play the game like this. Holy shit, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go straight off the edge. The issue is you go flying off of surfaces like this. Holy shit, no. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> okay, so the high walk speed is actually like really bad. And that didn't really look like it moved the player's screen. So... I guess maybe it's not happening quick enough. Or... Hmm. I guess maybe make this go for like five seconds. Did it just play it? No, it didn't. How close did the player get there to... Uh. Hmm. Uh. I guess I'll just put the player across to test it. It'll instantly trigger it when we go here. That, um, that seemed to fade in and out way too quickly. Okay, so the volume disappeared way before. So this starts at zero. So, yep, yeah, the sine wave seems like it shouldn't cut out like that, but maybe, maybe it does. Because, like, it definitely appears to stop way before... How long is this in time? Oh my god, it's only two seconds. This explains so much. So maybe if we set this to loop... I think because it started out at one, it sounded weird. Okay, honestly, that that doesn't that seems pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna fix up the boss. Uh, at least the way the boss throws. No, you know what, let's save, let's save the polishing of this for afterwards. I think we might do like a playthrough. See how it goes all together. I also keep saying that I'm going to time it and see how long it takes, and then I never fully time it because I find a bug and I stop playing. So I should, I should actually time it. Hold on though, I'm going to go get some water.
Be right back. Alright, I'm actually going to take a break. I'll be back in like an hour or two. We will see. Thank you for watching this morning. Um, I keep... I want to say that like, oh, we're going to finish this today. But I feel like that... Uh, y you never know how much polish it needs or how many... Like, you could always just keep adding more details. It's just a question of how many polygons you want to put in. So it's like... Yeah, I don't want to rush this. I just want to take my time and just keep adding little little details on. And like not just not just like throwing details at it, but testing like how I test out these details and then I go, actually, I don't really like that. It's much better if you just like just uh I don't know how to do it. I it's called like iteratively like an iterative workflow. You just you start with something, even if it's bad, and you just iteratively work on it. You iterate it and iterate it and iterate it over and over again. Anyways, I was really happy about finding all those VSTs this morning. Actually makes me kind of excited to make some other music. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, I kind of want to make a game that would have more music. This one didn't really seem like... Like a like an atmospheric horror game is not really something like music doesn't really fit in in a lot of cases. Anyways, hope everyone has a good morning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.